Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 27 of Galactic Science, Mud Pack by Caitlin. So in the last episode I said that this was going to be a time lapse episode because the base is just a mess and I set up this whole uh, builder block to start just digging the whole underground of the base so that I could go multiple level down. But the truth is I was going I play on a second account where I'm just basically testing everything I want to do and based on my testing there's a lot of things I'm going to be doing and I'm not sure I was very clear in explaining all of it so I don't want to go on a time lapse where you guys are trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing so I thought I was going to do this one short episode where I'm going to basically show you and explain to you the things that I'm going to be doing for the cleanup and it's going to be a very short episode and then I'm going to go into doing the whole episode so basically what I want to do let me get rid of a couple of things I'm going to clean all that up during my time lapse but what I want to do is I want to bring things to a more reasonable setup and I want to just move this out of the way and I want to put whatever's the uh, sieving and processing of material out of the base like well not out of the base but out of the way so that it's not visible well kind of visible in the sense that I want to keep track like now I see I don't have any more gravel so I need to restart the gravel production but I don't necessarily need all this setup to be in my face all the time and this one's the one that's producing the gravel so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to set that one to never active so it's not going to extract from here and I'm going to restart that and by restarting this oh extract always active what it's going to do is that this machine is going to fill up and once it's finished filling up it's not going to be able to do anything anymore so it's going to stop running but this one's going to continue crafting gravel and that's important because gravels are main uh, source of resource right now the moon turf gives us the uh, you know it gives us the redstone and glowstone but this is the one that gives us all of our metals all of our important metals that's why it's important that it keeps on running and we have some power problems all the time and some issues and if we come downstairs here let's be fair this looks like a nightmare there's power here power here power here then we have power upstairs there and it's just it, honestly my base is all over the map which is a normal thing to be fair when you're starting a mod pack uh, in the beginning you don't have a lot of resource so each and every single one of those cables or those cables or those cables they cost way too much to be handled properly but now if you look at this look I have a lot of resource they're just not processing fast enough because I don't have the most optimal setup so what I need to do is I need to accelerate thing let me just take this gold and put it in here what yeah okay it's in there there's some weird refresh issue here but basically I have more and more resource now so I'm able to set up more and more things so there's a couple of things that I want to show you guys that I'm going to be doing today. Uh, well, not in this episode. I'm going to be doing in the next episode, the time lapse episode. First, let's grab mm, one stack of this. And the reason one stack is one stack is going to transform into four stack. And I'm going to grab four stack of uh, cobblestone. One, two, three, four. I'm going to grab one stack of aluminum right here and one stack of redstone and I'm going I grabbed two stacks by mistake and that's going to become pistons and I'm going to make a whole stack of piston then uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing is a whole stack also of uh, Jabba barrel one two three four five six seven eight nine I think nine should be enough basically what I want to do, oh, I still have 64 here, is that I want to do create 64 chest and then 64 barrel. That's 32. That's 64. Let me just find a Jabba barrel. Bar barrel, like so. 
sorry, 2R barrel. Barrel like so, and 64 barrel, perfect. So now I'm in a better position to take care of this episode. So a long time ago, I showed you how to do the B space Jebba barrel that I did right here to be able to import resource from Mars, okay? Ooh, let me just grab all of this and I'll bring them into the processing chest back here. So what's happening here? Oh, this is gem on hydrogen. Why? Because this is full. So one of the thing I want to do is there's a lot of resource that I need all over the base, like hydrogen. I'm not really using it for power right now because I went to lava and that's because I was using these relocators. The relocators, they're much faster than the normal uh, transfer nodes and transfer pipes, but they're not as good for the number of items. We've seen downstairs that basically we can barely keep four filled because it's faster, but it's not distributing as properly as these are because these can be upgraded with speed or can be upgraded with round robin and stuff like that. There's no round robin in the relocator. Since then, we've moved to item conduits and item conduits are really amazing. So. I want to make some B space barrel. Let me grab a stack of iron and I got enough wood. So let me just go and look at the, I'm going to do a search on hat haba like this. And I'm going to be making just a couple of these. I'm going to make five for now. This is not the final quantity that I'm going to be making, but it's just to be able to give you an example. And I'm going to need a couple of these B space upgrade. And I want five, so let's grab five ender pearl, one, two, three, four, five, and let's grab one blaze rod. One thing that I've done in my research is that these blaze rod, you can basically, oh, these blaze rod, you can basically um, transform them into two blaze powder directly, or you can put them in a sag mill to get four, which is double, which is amazing, but there's even better. You can chemical decompose them into plutonium and plutonium one makes one so put it in here six plutonium then come back here and the six plutonium are going to give me six um six of the six blaze powder which is really amazing and by the way plutonium is 94 and einsteinium is 99 so 94 plus 5 it becomes a very easy way of crafting plutonium, uh, einsteinium, sorry. So I'm going to transform five of these six into eyes of enders. <coughs> and then I'm going to grab a stack. Oh, I grabbed two stacks by mistake, but I'm going to put it back. And I'm going to make five ender chest. Put that all back here. And I'm going to use these five ender chest with these pistons. And I'm going to be making some B space upgrade. Perfect. So now, remember what I showed you guys. You basically put two barrels side by side. Well, you don't need to put them side by side, but you take two barrel and then you upgrade them. And once they're upgraded, you can put a B space upgrade in both of them. Uh, like so. And where's my B space tuning fork? Shift, right click this one, shift, right click that one. And these are now resonating together. So if I take one stack of gravel and put it in here, the gravel's in two place. So see how my setup downstairs, I needed this whole way around to bring it here, which means that it was hard to move this away. Well, it's not hard to move away. I can very easily move it away. I just need to use these B space barrels. So I'm gonna be crafting some B space barrel for the moon turf and for the gravel. And let's look at this moon rock so basically we can also craft the moon rock we don't need to dig for it if we have some let's grab whatever we have but if we don't have any we can always craft it with two se and two oxygen so i'm just going to do a search on moon to show you basically we have moon dirt and moon rock uh not moon dirt sorry i don't care about moon dirt moon rock or moon turf Moon turf is three oxygen and one silicon, and moon rock is two oxygen and two silicon. 
So I need three, four, five oxygen. Here's what I want to do. I wanted to show you this because I want to make sure that I'm going to be producing both of them in an equal amount. And once you're trying to do this, you need to be able to proportion things properly. And I found a solution for that. It, it might be like it might look overly simple to you guys, but I don't know why I didn't think of it for before then. Uh, let me just move it in a way that I can show you. So basically, I said one needs two and the other one needs three. So if you go like this and you put a barrel here, oh, let's break this down and let's put, come on, break down, perfect. Let's put one here. So let's say that this is the one that needs two. I'm going to put two like this. And then I'm going to make a three around like this and put another barrel here. Let's just put all of this into input. So input, 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 input right here. And now if I take this one, first I set it to round robin and then I start extracting it. And the beauty of this is look, it goes 4, 8, then it goes 4, 8, 16 here. And then another 4, 8, and then another 16 in here. Basically, when you use an extraction of standard extraction, it's extract four at a time. So it puts four in this output, four in this output, four in that one, four in that one, and four in that one. So we end up with having a ratio of two and three out of five because we have five output. So when you're looking at the moon stuff, I need two oxygen for the creation of moon rock, which would be this one, and we need three oxygen for the creation of moon turf, which would be that one. And then we would kind of have the same setup somewhere else where we would, <coughs> where we would split the uh, silicon into three, two into the same chest as this one and one in the same chest as, as that one. So that way we're doing a perfect split to be able to craft. But that, it only me this one is the important one. There's two, well, honestly, there's two ways to handle this. Either we split it off like that, or we put them in a B space barrel and all of these three barrels are showing 256 um, stacks of oxygen. The problem when you do it that way is that you can end up crafting more of one type of item than the other. For the oxygen, it really didn't, doesn't matter that much. But when we want to make gravel and um, moon turf and moon dirt, the moon turf and moon dirt, we need silicon. And for the silicon, we get the silicon from uh, decomposing the uh, silicon dioxide right here. So when we do decompose the silicon dioxide, we end up in a situation where basically we're using too much maybe for this and the gravel is the most important part. So we want this to fill first. And once this is filled, we don't care that it's at 256 <coughs> and jammed as long as this one keeps on going up. So this is two ways of doing it. We can force split by doing the multiple entry path like this, or we could put everything on B space barrel. Depending on how many ender pearls I'm able to get, I'm probably going to do it the B space barrel way. Because to be fair, once the uh, gravel is full, then I don't really care that much. The second thing I wanted to show you guys is that I did a little bit more research on the uh, router reborn, this kind of router. And I'll be really honest with you guys, I didn't understand everything about it, but I understood enough to be comfortable starting to show you a couple of things. So let me just remove the extraction. So one extraction here, one there. Oh, I forgot this one right here. And I forgot this one right there and this one right there. So I'm just trying to clean things up so that I don't have a crazy amount of uh, item in these because I'm going to remove these four. And right now, just so that you guys understand, I'm totally breaking by base. I know that I'm totally breaking it, 
but it doesn't matter because like I said my next episode is a time lapse and I'm going to be fixing everything oh hmm let me get rid of this and that and that and that's it perfect so I just want to show you the basic setup idea <clears throat> the beauty with the router the honestly the most beautiful thing about the router is the lack of um, oh god and my mob farm has also a problem I'm also going to show you how I'm going to handle the mob farm so let's take all of these out and no 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 don't care about that please give me okay I got my four I'm gonna go further away from the uh, mob farm so I can show you so the beauty with the router is how nice the setup becomes I'm gonna put a router here and oh, I completely forgot I need a second router and I need an item filter so let's come back right here get rid of this and let's get rid of those two things and I'm just going to dump a couple of the thing in chest right here because I need some space okay so I'm gonna craft another item router and a item router item filter upgrade so as you can see from here I'm gonna need um, to craft an eye of ender and a chest which means I'm going to need 10 iron ingot, 2 gold ingot, 2 ender pearl, 1 blaze powder, 2 diamond, 1 stick, 1 redstone, and 8 wood plank. Sorry. So I already have the blaze powder, so 10 iron ingot. Oh, I already have 9, 10. Perfect. So 2 gold. And then 2 ender pearl. Let's grab them from here. 1, 2. Then I need uh, 1 blaze powder, 2 diamond, 1, 2. Then I need one stick, one redstone, and eight wood plank. I, I have all of that on me. So let's look into the routers. Hello, router. And I'm on cap locks, of course. So let's craft an eye of ender. And let's craft a second item router. Then I need this. The item router, no, not machine filter. The item router, item filter upgrade. I do need to craft my... Uh, redstone torch first and then I should be able to craft this no what am I missing the chest let's make the chest and then I should be good yeah perfect and let me show you what I mean so the beauty of this setup is if I come back here I'm gonna put a router on each side of this uh, line of automatic sieve and you know what I just want to make it a bit more convincing so let me go downstairs <clears throat> let's be careful not to fall in that gigantic hole remove this and remove and remove that and remove that one let's empty this let's empty that and get rid of all of this and these two are going to hmm, get rid of their mob drop and now I'm just going to grab these two perfect now let's go back like I said to you guys I'm totally breaking my base but as part of the next episode time lapse I'm going to fix everything so it doesn't really matter perfect so now that I have all of this let me I could move the barrel but since I'm still producing some gravel I don't want to move the barrel without putting another one so let me just grab this one like so and put another one immediately right there perfect and then let's bring the gravel barrel on the other side so the beauty of the item routers is that they work on an infinite amount of items or so it seems to me that's what I mean by saying I didn't do 100 all of my research that I still have a little bit of research to do is that I didn't find any maximum if that makes sense to you guys as in I didn't do a big enough setup to end up with 500 C like I don't know if it only serves two or four or six so I'm going to set this one into insert and I'm going to make see this one is in output mode so I'm going to grab the gravel and show it in here and I'm going to put it on and it's receiving the gravel and it's immediately outputting the gravel and look at this it's filling 
all of these um, sieves automatically because they're connected to it. So it's basically receiving the gravel and it's outputting it to the nearest line of connected inventory. So all of these are connected and they can all accept gravel so it's all going in there. And just to show you, that's why I grabbed the other two. I add another one, it fills. I add another one, it fills. And my understanding <coughs> from my testing is that I got this line to what, 16 or 18? And it all filled. And usually I would have need to put item conduit with round robin to make sure that they all get full. But this, I don't know if it round robins by magic or if it's just that it's so fast that it fills everything. But it just it just works. Now one of the problems is that some are coming in here, which is why we crafted this item router item filter. I install, you shift right click on it and install the filter. I'm going to grab one gravel and I'm going to go into filter put, oops sorry, so don't shift click it. I'm going to click it here and I'm going to say blacklist. I don't want it to grab any gravel. So now technically I remove this gravel. This shouldn't be getting any gravel anymore. And I'm going to craft a barrel just to show you, uh, not a barrel, a chest. This is, like I said again, this is not the final setup. It's just an example of what I want to do. I do this, I put this in between and I say extract. And on this one I say insert. And basically now I take this one and I put it in input extract mode. So now this one is extracting from all of the connected inventory. This one is a connected inventory because it's touching the machine, which is why we did this and said, don't take the gravel. Because if we didn't say that, the gravel would transfer directly to here and go into that chest. And I'm going to prove it to you by removing that. And now look, gravel is just basically coming into here. And so it would fully empty. Let me go back on there and so, oh. I keep on forgetting that I can't shift click. I need to use it and click it in. And now I'm done with the grout. It should stop. Uh, is it blacklisted? Oh, blacklist the gravel. It should stop grabbing the gravel. I can put it back here. So now it only extracts. So if you look at this, this is empty. 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 And this is empty. So there's two advantages to what we just did. Oh, let me grab the wood back. The first advantage is where are the cables? There's no cable, not a single cable anywhere. <clears throat> Didn't need to put one, two, three, four, five, six item cable. And if this is in extracting fast enough, then we can put a speed boost upgrade in there, which is made from a cake and some sugar. So thankfully we don't have to do that because we currently don't have any way of getting milk. I know that at some point we'll be able to get some cow. I just don't remember. Can I do a quick search for cow? Um, no. Uh, egg? I don't know. I honestly, I don't remember how to get a cow in this pack. This is the next part of the research I'm going to do. <clears throat> but from my research, I was able to keep 16 of these fully stuck with gravel at all time and fully extracting into a chest. So look at these lines. Each of my sifting line will be able to have two item router and do this nicely. So this would be a space barrel to be able to get the gravel from the crafting section, which can be way further away. And then we'll have a second line uh, with the same kind of look receiving moon turf. And then we'll have another one with moon rock and moon rock will be either crafting it or will be just dumping it in here from the digging that we're doing underground and all that we'll need to do to power these is give it some power to an energy cable so either one of these aluminum wire or one of uh, the ender io cable which is something that i'll be honest with you guys i've been really annoyed with because in my test world I've been doing some crazy testing and I haven't been able to get a satisfying result. Uh, if I come back here, I don't have any 
a capacitor here. Oh, let's look at this capacitor. So uh, they're both full. So I was trying to do a test and these aluminum wire, they kind of feel like there's a bug and they're infinite because in my test world, I've been able to connect two capacitor and transfer hundred, like thousands and thousands of RF per tick. But in my mind, these aluminum wire, they are supposed to be like maxed out at 600 or 640 RF, something like that per tick. But I've just been producing a crazy amount and it just transfers with no problem. So it's kind of hard to say what's the max transfer rate. Let me just grab this and I think I have an idea. I think that I have a semi empty one back here. Is that the one I removed? Oh yeah, I removed it from here. Okay, so I don't have an empty one and this is full because of the hydrogen also. Oh, the other good news is that the sorting barrel, the fact that it's a sorting barrel and the B-Space upgrade, they don't interfere with each other, which means that I can have these with the sorting and still have a B-Space upgrade. So for the carbon, well, not the carbon, sorry, for the oxygen, and for the hydrogen and for the silicon, I'll be able to have a B-space upgrade and not have a problem. Let's just go and resolve my uh, oxygen situation quickly. Oh, my oxygen situation before I continue with what I wanted to show you guys. Put this in, these in here and these in here and perfect. Okay, let's go back. Oh, sorry, I got stuck. Perfect. <clears throat> the other thing that I want to do during my time lapse is I want to upgrade my mob farm. And I'm not ready to use the killer Joe yet. And oh, wow, look at the. <sighs> okay, my mob farm is really a big problem. And I wanted to talk to you guys about handling this. And basically, I'm going to need a trash can. So let me just grab one, two, three. Oh one two three and do i have cobblestone no one two three four five and i don't have a chest but that's pretty easy to take care of so chest and then i should be able to make the trash can like so perfect and i'm going to need a f item filter uh the basic is not going to be enough so let's make an advanced item filter so i'm going to need Two solarium, two silicon, a zombie head. So I have the zombie head here, two silicon. Do I even have solarium? I have two silicon right here. Oh, let's get rid of this. Do you have two solarium? Well, I don't, but it's easy enough to take care of. So let's just craft some more. Two, oh, not this. Whew. I almost screwed up and made some, uh, what's it called, some, uh... oh my god, I'm searching my terms tonight. I mean, my, uh, making some energetic alloy. What I want is a solarium. So two redstone, oh no, not two redstone, one zombie head, two silicon, one redstone. Yeah, and I have the redstone and I have the two solarium. Let's go downstairs and get rid of this. Well, get rid of this. I mean, start crafting this. Wow, I'm searching for my words tonight. So let's put this in here like that and that and the head. And we're going to make an advanced item filter. And I'm happy I made a couple of barrel more because we're really going to need these barrel. The thing is we need to Put everything that we want to keep in two barrels so that I'm not worried about the quantity and running out of space. And the rest that doesn't matter, we're just going to void it. So I still need three redstone, one, two, three, and I need four paper. Let me grab one paper and three sugar cane, make more paper, and then I can make the advanced item filter. Perfect, great. Okay, so let's go back up here. Oh God, this is going to be annoying. And I'm saying that it's going to be annoying just because of this. The fact that everything's always going to be trying to go in my inventory. I'm going to 
put a ledge here so that I have access to the back. Oh. Oh my god, come on. I don't need this. Just work. Perfect. So, like I was saying, let me just go like this. And I'm going to be able to put some more barrels like this. And oh, are they going to be on input? I think they're not even going to be on input. So it's a couple of things that I need to fix. But let me just do a quick job of setting all of this here. <laughs> I, If you guys haven't noticed, I'm basically using better barrels as stepladder just because this is annoying me and I want to be able to finish this quickly. Input, input, input. Oh, I'm going to have to go on the other side. <coughs> and let's not use the better barrel as stepladder because let's be honest, that's a bit ridiculous. So like this, and let's just see what we can do from here. Can I access all of the remainder from here? Uh, let's put, yeah, this one to input. Let's put this one to input, and let's put that one to input. Perfect. Okay, so we're getting some good things happening here. And then we can decide which one are important to put in here or not. So basically, string. See? String is important to me. So let's remove all of that and put string in here. Pizzas goes in here. Eyes goes in there. Um, what's the next thing? So rice cake, I don't really care about it, but I have enough that it warrants being... Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of laughing because of the ridiculous... Uh, how ridiculous this whole situation is. Um, let me get rid of this bow. Let me get rid of what else? Nothing for now. Let me just learn how to... Oh my god, this is harder than I thought. So the heads. The heads are really important to me. So I want to keep all of the heads. Which means I'm going to have to put all of the head in here somewhere. Um... Where's the other head? The skeleton head. Perfect. So let's put the skeleton head in here. And the bullets in here. Oh, I keep on falling. This is this is ridiculous. It feels like I have no control over what I'm doing right now. And like this. Perfect. So now, now that we have all of this... I'm going to extend my extraction like so. And I'm going to set that to insert, that to extract. But I'm going to put my filter and I'm going to say whitelist. And I'm immediately going to put at least one item in it. So I'm going to say ignore metadata and ignore NBT data. And okay. Which means that right now, it's looking at golden lagging, but it's ignoring the that is going to be ignoring the damage on the golden lagging. <coughs> so if I start this, oh, start it, it's going to extract all of the golden lagging and all of the uh, nuclear craft disk and all of the golden chain plate. So one of the things that we need to get rid of really soon, wow is also the bows it's just a crazy amount of bow so let's just put the bow in here also and i never really figured out how to ignore the oh it is ignoring the magical so i don't know if it's metadata or nbt data but one of the two makes it so that it ignores the uh the fact that they're enchanted or not. And I know that I could probably set up to uh, get back some of these enchantments, but at this point, I just, I need to have a better mob farm where things are clean and things are being, <sighs> really, I don't, there are some things that I don't understand in this. Let me grab the boots. Put the boots in here and put the boots back in here. And these, the discs are the most annoying one because there's a, they are a one for one. 
So I need to make sure that the disks are getting nullified. Perfect. So this is looking really good. Now, the only thing I'm not quite sure I understand is that I still keep getting some items once in a while that should not be going in here. That should basically be going in one of these chests because I have all of these chests set up for it. What else could I put in my chest? Uh, the feather. The feather, of course, is something I could keep. And it's not necessarily that I'm going to be getting a crazy ton of feather. It's more of a question of it's something that I want to keep. Arrows are in here. Uh, what else? And I'm just taking a quick look. These bullets. And like I said to you guys, I'm not quite sure. They, there's a lot of weird things happening with this pack. Where things that are supposed to end up See, like I'm still grabbing some arrows. Maybe it has something to do with the item magnet interfering. But all of these things are supposed to get destroyed or get nullified or put in these first. And when I told you guys about important stuff, well, these raw meteoric iron, they're very important to me. So I'm going to put them here because maybe it's only four, but if I get three, seven, ten more, I can always transform them into plate. We never did our tier 3 uh, rocket. Oh, and I fell again. So that was the very simple cleanup of my mob farm. And I still need to avoid a couple of things, but incredibly enough, I went through a whole advanced item filter. So I'm going to have to create a second advanced item filter and have a secondary extract where I can extract the rest of these tunics and stuff like that and the rice cake like this is good food but to be fair and even these pizzas i don't need them because i'm always full of on hunger i don't really need to uh, take any of those let me put this in here that in there just get rid of a couple of things that i ended up grabbing either by mistake or by not paying attention and i'm going to remove my spawn eggs from there because I moved them there thinking that they were mob items, but at the end of the day, they're real items that I want to keep. So let me bring that all over here. And I kept another stupid um, bow, which I don't need. Perfect. So I think that right now the mob farm is working well enough. What I want to do though is I keep having issues with being able to grab items and I still don't have Enderman. So one of the thing I want to do is I want to make the mob farm on more than one level. And I'll have Cursed Earth on one side making mobs. And I'll have Fan pushing them down to fall on the ground. <coughs> and I'll have Cursed Earth on another side where this one is going to push mob into Witch Water. Which is going to supercharge those mob and bring them downstairs where downstairs they're going to drop and be killed and in all of that i'll have an a i'll put this powered spawner right in the same mob farm to create the endermen and i have no fear of them teleporting because based on my test that i've made as long as the whole thing is enclosed either with walls or with dark glass so that the uh, Endermen cannot see through it, they won't teleport. So they'll fall on these diamond spike and die. So falling on diamond spike instead of using the uh, killer Joe and the Ender, uh, where's the Ender? Right here, means that we're going to get less skull. But I think the Ender Pearl is like a 95% drop rate, so we'll be getting a lot more Ender Pearl. And at some point, we'll set up a specialized killing room with the Killer Joe. But the problem I have with the Killer Joe is that I don't currently have enough head to be able to keep it fed with uh, nutrient distillation. And um, it's something I'm going to set up. But I need a lot of Ender Pearl right now to be able to do the setup that I want to do all around my base. So this is where I want to go with this. So in the next episode, 
it's going to be a time lapse. For you guys, it's going to be a like 30 or 40 minute time lapse. But considering that it's a time four, the 30 or 40 minute time lapse is more like three hours of gameplay for me. But it's a three hour that I'm going to use to remove all of my sieving and all of my power. And basically, which is, that's why I set up the builder block. I'm going to extend some floors under here and I'm going to have a floor just to make power because now I have these cable, these aluminum wire. I can just craft a, I, I want to use the term shit load of them, which is a term I should stay away from if I want to keep my channel PG 13, but it's going to let me make a crazy ton of them. So I, because I have enough, um, uh, string and enough aluminum to make enough wire and I'm going to be able to produce so much power that I won't be uncomfortable using the dimensional transceiver that was back there because even though I lose 200 RF if I'm producing four or five thousand it in the grand scheme of things it doesn't matter so much and now the last thing I wanted to talk about for this episode my tree farm as you guys have known I've been producing power with this steam turbine and it's kind of been stop and go right now it's producing well potentially producing 1800 RF per tick but now it's full on power and I'm not using it because it's not fully distributed but it could do so much more than that my problem is going to be syn gas I'm going to be uh, running out of cellulose to make syn gas and I make the cellulose from the trees. And if you come back upstairs right here, you can see that I'm a crewing tree, but the moment I started it, oh, this is empty, darn. So the moment I started it, this tend to empty quite fast. So I don't have a good enough tree farm yet. And it's really simple. And this is a tip and trick from Creator Aid. Basically, one of the things that I've been doing wrong, uh, let me just replace that, I wasn't using stick. So I let this thing run out of stuff, and because I let it run out of stock, it tried using something different. That might be why I'm burning my wood. So a tip and trick from Creator Aid is regarding this uh, machine that we're using to cu cut the wood. So the wooden chopper right here so let's make one more of these let's go back here and make another wooden chopper i'm going to need some cobblestone right here perfect so oh i didn't grab it sorry i turned off my magnet which is why i'm not grabbing the material that i'm used to grabbing let's make a furnace and then let's make a wooden axe like so and what else do we need so for the wooden chopper what else am I missing oh a chest perfect oh nope not perfect I still need more wood to make the chest let's make a chest perfect so let's make a wooden chopper now I searched for wooden. I shouldn't have searched for wooden. I should have searched for chopper. Now let's make a stone chopper. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my God, I miscounted. I just remembered that I was counting like crap. So a stone axe and let's make a wooden chopper like this. And for the iron chopper, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. <clears throat> so we need a wooden axe, uh, not a wooden axe, an iron axe. Uh, come on, a iron axe like so. Then we need a iron ingot, uh, not ingot block, and then we can make the iron chopper. And now for the diamond, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten diamond. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten diamond. Uh, let's make the diamond axe first and then let's make the diamond chopper. So where I'm trying to go with this, the reason I'm doing this, this is a tip and trick from Crater 8. I thought that the machine was based on the quality of the axe in it. 
But it turns out that this is not the, the case. The quality of the machine is more important actually than the uh, quality of the axe in it. So by putting a diamond chopper in it and an axe, we're basically making the machine way faster. Now I'm going to need to change these 12 stone upgrade into iron and then into diamond. But I basically made the harvesting of trees so much faster. Um, how do I upgrade again? I kind of forgot about that. So it's six. Oh God, it's going to be expensive in iron, but got to do what I got to do. So basically like this, oh, well, it's not, well, I'm going to say it's not that expensive. It's, it still is expensive. And then this one, I'm going to upgrade with diamonds, but I'm at a point where I'm more comfortable with resource. And if I'm going to make my syngas production that much bigger and make my, my um, energy production that much bigger, I really do need to have the extra power. So now, technically, if you look at this, four, five, six, seven, it's going way faster. I didn't keep both machines at the same time, so it's hard for me to prove to you that it's faster. But I went in my testing world, and basically I planted uh, one tree of each type. And I basically just started the machines and looked at the output of wood and this was just the diamond chopper was going just so much faster basically what crater aid said was 100 percent true the quality of the uh, machine is more important than the quality of the axe see this is a diamond machine but it's still running with a stone axe but it's harvesting faster than actually using a stone machine and it's just since it goes faster I'm going to be able to make the field bigger because technically I was keeping this field smaller for two reasons. One, I didn't have enough material to make the range bigger. And two, I wasn't able to cut it fast enough. In my other playthrough, before I understood that, I had a stone chopper with a range of 80 or 90 something. And because one of the thing, okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. One of the things that I was doing is that I made the range super big, but since it wasn't cutting fast enough, this was like full of trees and it was just never harvesting fast enough. So the machine was kind of gunked all the time. Because one of the things that I can do in this is that I can craft a wither upgrade and it multiplies the range of a machine by 10. So basically, with four diamond upgrade and a nether star. So let's say I made one right now and I put it in here, it would say 25 times tens. So it would make a range of 250. Super expensive with the nether star, but I've shown to you guys that we can easily make nether stars now. So it's totally worth it. And I'm going to be moving that farm further down here because I'm running out of space here. But I'm going to make it much bigger and I'm going to be using this new diamond uh, chopper because it's so much faster and it's going to be able to keep my stock of uh, cellulose full at all time. And we're going to be using probably the same principle for the cellulose. I'm going to have a Jabba barrel just basically keeping the cellulose, uh, not the cellulose, sorry, I'm going to be using a Jabba barrel for the wood just to make sure that I have my um, wood accessible either from my crafting area or from the place where I need to transform it into cellulose. So guys, the, I've explained to you everything that I want to do in my time lapse. I want to make a bigger farm. I want to move my power setup. I want to be able to get all of my sieving in two lines with the item routers. So I did that so that episode so that you could understand what's going to be happening in the next episode. And as always, you're more than welcome to skip the full time lapse episode. I tried to keep them to a minimum, but now my base is a mess and I really want to rearrange it. 
So the full time lapse episode is a requirement right now to be able to move forward. Honestly, there's no real accomplishment in this episode, so I don't know what to end on, but I think that this mechanism, explaining this mechanism was very important, so I'm gonna end on that. But now you know what I'm going to do. One gravel line, one rock line, moon rock line, one moon turf line, one Mars line, and all of that is going to be put as another layer of the base. And I'm gonna to try to go from center to outward, and I'm going to be setting up layers after layers, one for power, one for sieving, and stuff like that. And I'm hopefully going to use the dimensional transceiver minimally for just the stuff that I really need. But I'm going to go from totally breaking the base to totally remaking the base in a but much better manner. And I'm hoping that in the future, I'm going to get better into designing base in a way that makes sense to grow in the future. But I'm really excited about the next episode and I hope that once I come back from that episode and show the uh, like show you guys how the base transform that you're going to love it. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.